Tangle Tamer Ultra for about a month now and I thought what brush could I compare it to and the most close comparison is the Tangle Teaser, the newer one with a handle. And so today we're going to compare these two brushes. Let's jump in. So let's start with the Tangle Teaser. I do have a full video on this so I'll leave it linked below. But the teeth are fairly long. It has long teeth and a set of short teeth as well for each row. Um, there is a handle on this one and it's fairly small so it makes it easy to handle. Even the full length of the brush is not very big. I do have a small hand. The bristles are very flexible. Matter of fact, you can see I've actually partially bent this one over time. Um, they're very flexible. They bend very nicely. And that bottom row is clutch to really getting the tangles out of the hair. So in using this brush, I found that I don't have to do sections that are too small. I like it because I can do medium sized sections. So as always, I start by finger detangling the section first. I want to feel for rips. Um, I want to feel for knots um, and any, you know, tangles at the bottom of my hair just to make sure I know whether using a brush is advisable. And my hair is fine, so I can. And then I could just go ahead and put this brush in and it will go through my hair really with no problem. It does a really quick and easy job of making it through my section, especially if it's not too big, but it does work pretty well on larger sections. And the teeth are great because they do a good job of getting to the roots of the hair and just moving through, right? It's detangled that quickly. My section is not tangled at all. I can run my fingers through, no problem, no snags. We're good, right? And that's what I love about this brush. It works really easily, really quickly, and it doesn't sound too bad. I have brushes that like the sound is not pleasing, even though it works just fine. This sound of this one isn't bad at all. And like I said, I could do some nice size sections, medium sized sections. I wouldn't do large sections and you don't have to do really small sections. I consider that a huge asset of this brush. And so then we have the Tangle Tamer Ultra and it's actually quite similar in construction. So as you can see, the bristles are actually just as long but there are small bristles as well, just like with the Tangle Teaser. Now, the construction is a wider construction, right? The brush is wider. It is bigger. It is taking up the entire um, breadth of my hand. However, the handle is still small on this one. And the Tangle Tamer is by Dinman. I don't know if you'll be able to see that because it's um, kind of monochromatic. But this one is by Dinman. Um, and the Tangle Teaser is a brand all unto itself. Um, just like the Tangle Teaser, like I said, the bristles are fairly long. The construction of this one is different and there is a cushion here under the brush, right? Under the bristles. And so they go up, they arch up and come back down. It, I really can't say whether that's better or not. It's just how the difference in construction. There is no cushion there, right? It's just constructed a little differently. Um, so as far as moving it through the hair, even though it is a considerably larger brush, you still want to go with medium sized sections and still want to finger detangle first looking for any knots. That's just prudent when using brushes. They can cause damage if your hair is in bad condition, right? Or if it has knots. So find those first. And then I can move it through my hair easily. Now, I can go this direction and it will go through just fine. I can go in a vertical direction and it will go through just fine. But because it's so small down here and big up here, when I go vertically, I, because my hand is small, need to hold it up top. And if I do that for a long period of time, my hand hurts. <laughs> so with this one, the easiest thing to do is just use it going this way with my hand holding the bottom because my hand will hurt over time. 
However, it's incredibly quick because it's so wide. It is incredibly quick and easy to use, like incredibly quick. And that's definitely an asset. And just like the other side, it is detangled, right? So they are very similar brushes, right? Yet the main difference is how the paddle is constructed, the paddle portion. This is a smaller paddle. I don't consider that a bad thing. This is a bigger paddle. And this is a sloping design. That does mean that the only way to get to the root is to have it vertical. You see, like doing this, you don't really get to the root. The top of the brush gets there before the bristles. So if you go this way, the bristles are actually shooting out towards the top of the brush, right? They come out pretty much at the same. But from this direction, it just doesn't work the same um, to get to the root for me. Like the brush gets in the way of the bristles. With this one, it works just the same. It'll get there. Now, like I said, I this bristle here um, bent within the first month of using it. No more of the bristles have bent as much, but they are bending. I see them bending on the side here. Um, some people get grossed out by hair, whatever. Um, but you could tell that they are bending. Right, right here, they're bending down. These are straight, but these are starting to bend. So, you know, I'll probably have to replace this brush within the year. I may not have to, but it is a concern. None of these bristles have bent. I have been using it for a month, and none of these bristles have, bristles have bent. I think because of the cushion, they can take a bit more impact from my hair. My hair is just dense. That's the only reason why they bend. Um, not because of anything else. It's just I have dense hit strands. I have a lot of strands that are moving through the brush. So that's pretty much the basic construction. As you can see, they pretty much work the same. I think they're pretty comparable as far as construction and how they move through my hair. I don't have to do small sections. Large sections are not a good idea. You're gonna have to come at them at so many angles that you might as well just break it into medium sized sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the time test, starting with the tangle teaser on this side. side took two minutes and 57 seconds. Now it's time for the Tangle Tamer. Tamer's tie took two minutes and 38 seconds. Not a huge difference, really. There was probably some human error in there. Either way, they either take a little over two minutes to detangle. Um, I do think they're just the most similar as far as the brushes go. And they both work really well to get through my hair. And I do stand by my assessment of these bristles as compared to these, even though they seem very similar. I would say that the Tangle Tamer has smaller bristles that are doubled up whereas the tangle teaser has thicker bristles in general um either way they work similarly in my hair the biggest difference is the price this one i found in ulta beauty for i think 14.99 and this one i bought off of amazon.com for 20 odd dollars so there i think it's a significant price difference however I don't know that I'll have to purchase this one very frequently, whereas this one I know I'll have to purchase again sooner or later if I want to because the bristles are definitely bending and I'm not sure it'll work the same if all the bristles bend. So that's it. That's my comparison of these two. If you've used either of these brushes, let me know your thoughts below. If you've used both, also let me know how you think they compare and tell me which one you would choose if you could choose one of these for your hair. Links to these brushes will be in the description box below if you're interested in them. And until next time, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and the blog. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.